All right. It was a Young America production. Hey, I live alone. This doesn't even apply to me. Study of Moping Teens in Ink by Toulouse Lautrec. Jeez, we're off to a dire start here. They've got magnified bullet striations from a ballistics test in the background. <laughs> Except in your own mind, so you can find out for yourself just what kind of virulent, reprehensible bigot you are, you, you racist, intolerant scum! <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the story of Bruce Jones. A story of asymmetrical gene cuffs. The shadow of what he was because of his back. I guess we can rule out cripples as his minority group. This is also the story of the people who knew Bruce, or thought they did. There were many of these people, and they were different from each other in many ways. But their hatred of Bruce brought them together and helped them overcome their differences. school anyway, and I'm not the only one. My folks don't like it a bit. Boy. My dad made a plan I wasn't to associate with him. <laughs> the one time these kids are eager to obey their parents, right? That's what I say. There ought to be some way to avoid it. Why, there ought to be a law against Bruce's and all that they stand for. Bruce will dumbbell. There's nothing the school can do for us. As long as makes his grades, Bruce will be with us. But I can't understand. It's why he'd want to be with us. Considering what bigoted white bread assholes we are. Nah, who'd hire a guy like him? Uh, other Bruce's, perhaps? Well, we may as well face it. He's may there, as well there. face it. We're we addicted to Bruce. The people who knew Bruce agreed that it would be better to shut the door to any efforts he might make to be one of them. <laughs> this looks like a really old, low-energy Dockers right. commercial here. But it wasn't always We go together to like shama lama 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 rama ding ding dong together for a What happened? Ed Reeves and Bruce Jones are fighting. I was just having a martini and I saw the whole fight. <laughs> well, he didn't. Fred was over there. He saw it all. Boy, this Bruce Jones was just standing on the corner and Ed walked by and, and Bruce charged at him like a bull. Why? What for? Well, I did see Ed waving a red cape and yelling ole. I don't know. Not, didn't even stop to... See if he was hurt or in <laughs> Oh, so he purposely hurt a guy and then didn't stick around to administer first aid? Curious. What can you expect with Bruce's background? How do you solve a problem like a Bruce Jones? <laughs> I can't see why Bruce would do a thing like that without some good reason. <laughs> and Lord knows there are plenty of good reasons for attacking a guy who's just innocently walking by, right? Jones was a strong one. He was different from his classmates, so no matter what happened... I could floss my teeth with this guy's belt. Well, I could have sworn. But instead I used clean language. Oh, my green sweater. I left it in here first hour. Right over the back of this chair. A basic training boy is on the case. I'm here now. I guess I might as well check lost and found. I might as well trail off my lines. Yeah. Brand new? Yeah, did you say it? Sir, yes, sir. But I didn't know it was yours. I saw it over the arm of Bruce Jones as he walked out the door. Well, that's dirty crook. Yeah, yeah, it's going to turn out that Bruce was taking it to Lost and Found. Uh -huh. You can see it coming a mile away. Well, they'll expel him now for sure. Hey, Joe. I heard you shut your old lady down. Circumstances pointed to Bruce Jones. This is how it always seemed to work out. Bruce was in trouble. Meanwhile, back at IRS headquarters... Bruce was to become the topic of conversation. Just dancing around in our 1950s way. Not talking or thinking about Bruce for a minute or two. But that's all gonna change when we drift on over to the snack table. I don't know about you, but I think this is the best party we've ever had. We've ever had? Yeehaw! Maybe it's because there hasn't been anything to She's a leaner. And what might that be? You know what I mean. The undesirable element is missing. Mm -hmm. Plutonium? It's a good thing, too. I'm sure glad Bruce didn't come tonight. He's not like us, and he never will be. That's right. Not being like us is one of the mortal sins, right? Discourage boys from getting to second base with two rows of buttons. John, John, the most awful 
strange just happened. What is it? They I canceled just... Dobie Gillis. Oh, it's too noisy in here. I can't turn. Come outside. You have to go to She's got something to say. So they are relocating to the quiet hallway. I, 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 I just called Mother to tell her I'd be a little late. She heard it on the newscast. Tom and Carol have been in a wreck. Oh, speed! Spritle! They get it into a bridge, and the car caught on fire. Oh, Michael Bay must have been directing their accident. If it hadn't been for Bruce... You mean Bruce Jones? No, Springsteen. He broke the car window with his Telecaster. Evidently, he heard the crash. He ran out and saw that two people were trapped inside, and that the car caught fire back by the gas tank. Ah, uh, it was a Ford Pinto. Did he know it was Tom and Carol? I don't know if he recognized Tom's car or not. They say that Bruce practically tore the car door off by brute force to get Tom and Carol out. They're planning to sue Bruce for the damage to the door. But as he was helping Tom, the gas tank exploded. Uh, Ibid, see previous Michael Bay joke. But Bruce was burned severely. I feel so sorry for Bruce. Your female empathy offends me. Well, this is a switch. A young reactionary Liam Neeson is perturbed. No matter what I said, I feel sorry for anybody being hurt. Even Bruce. Well, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and act as if this changes anything. Now listen, Changing man. your mind in light of new information is always a sign of rank hypocrisy. He didn't have to go into that fire. Bruce went into a burning car fire. He saved two jerks and the flames got higher. Especially after all the mean, prejudiced things that have been said right to his face. I'm a fine one to talk. Why, just a minute ago... Yeah, the lynching remark, we remember. Do you suppose there's anything we can do to help him? They said that he was on a critical list. Maybe he needs blood. So you think Bruce might be a vampire? Oh, right, never mind. Well, I'm going back to the party. It's the 50s. Do what I do. We don't need a second angle of them going back to the stupid party. Jeez. The kids in the hall. A Mormon joyride. I wonder if Bruce would want my blood after what I did to him. Slow down, Sparky. He may not even share your blood type. But he hit you, didn't he? Yes, but you don't know the whole story. I had it coming. On account of being a nerd and wearing glasses. I'd sing that song so he'd be sure to hear it. You know the one I mean. The jingle for Big Red Gum? That day I walked by Bruce whistling it again. I guess it got under his skin and he just couldn't take it anymore. Golly, then he didn't just jump you for no reason. <laughs> That's a good reason? Good thing he wasn't singing What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction or he'd be dead. That's the reason Bruce is only on probation. For that matter, I am too. It's funny. I never stopped to think there could be a Bruce's side to it. I just never really thought of Bruce at all. Oh, all of you think of Bruce all the time. I was ready to accuse him of stealing my sweater the other day. And I would have, but... Then I realized it was hideous and clashed with my complexion anyway, so I didn't bother. Anybody else had been seen with it, I wouldn't have worried so much. But because it was Bruce, Because I... it was Bruce, you did what we've all done. You've put a brand on him for something he couldn't help. Are you done interrupting? Yep, even in a short, it's crucial to take the time to establish the parking of the car. And it's parked. Well, let's go see how bad it is. You know, I can't help noting that with Bruce all laid up in the burn unit, unable to attack, this would be the perfect time to torment him with that song. ...toward tearing down the false barriers which their own bias and prejudice have built. But will it work? Tune in next time and find out if it works. people must oh, find the answer only through re-examination of his own feelings His or her attitude. sexist. For this is the problem of the individual more than of the group. Then why is this part of a series called Discussion Problems in Group Living? Hmm. After all the things I've done to him, things I'll never be able to apologize for. Like whistling that dreadful tune. Bill was right in a way. This doesn't really change any of the reasons. So this is what thinking feels like. I just hope I can somehow work out a new set of values to judge him by in the future. It's not that complicated. Just judge him by what he actually says and does. Jeez. I wonder if what Bruce did... Russell Crowe in L.A. Confidential 
or a young Jack Webb pondering his latest whodunit. You make the call. I thoroughly regret all the times I aimed my supercilious, Jeremy Irons-esque gaze at poor Bruce Jones. Believe me, you have no idea. Am I just reacting to an emergency? See, this is why you should never try to cut your own bangs after you've been drinking. I guess I'll have to be. The thing is, it wasn't Bruce at all. I was the one. I was the one with Frances McDormand lumps under her mouth. They were literally right under my nose, and I didn't even see them. You hear about other people's presence. You know, I just get the sense that someday she will make a very neurotic mother. I don't know why. What was it, after all, that made these people do the things they did? Well, one theory holds... Was it a lack of understanding? Was their attitude picked oh, up? Well, okay, well, the hegemony parents? of the dominant race or would... was it simply a matter of going along with the attitude of the group? Well, in my view, I what would... Look, slow Frank down! Let me answer the previous question why first. Does it exist? Hey, I thought what this short was supposed to think? answer these questions. Don't put it all off on me with your big Riddler question mark, you sexist, paternalistic, omniscient narrator. Oh, fooey. <laughs>